Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wandering Village where today we are going to carry on just waiting for our uh, scavenger hut to be built and then let's have a look what what do we think we're going to do after that because we've got the the doctor all set up actually that's one thing I wanted to do at the moment nobody is poisoned so has the doctor been built yet it has not once the last wooden plant goes in I need to decommission that it's all very well as saving up herbs but if there's nobody to treat there's no point in a doctor working there but it's good to have it's good to have the building there so you can instantly get someone in there to start treating people let's have a look at Ombu's path quickly as well going into the free yeah it's freezing rather than just cold I guess so what does that mean for our crops? How are they doing? Let's have a look at the farm. Still still 60% growth on the beets, so I think that's okay. And it looks like the food is still increasing, so that's okay too. We're going to have a couple of cold snaps coming up. Well, it's going to be really cold. But I think we'll be okay. Oh man, it doesn't... Like, sometimes it doesn't want to scroll in very much. <laughs> So, so that's why I, I do tend to try and use the buttons up here, but sometimes I uh, forget and just scroll. You've got to scroll really hard for it to zoom. Okay, so. Kitchen hasn't even been started yet. Let's have a look. Alright, we're coming into the really cold snap now, so I'm going to tell Ombu to run! But Ombu says no. Try again. No, we need to be a bit nicer to Ombu so Ombu will <laughs> pay attention to us. So we'll just have to go through there slowly, I guess. Might affect the growth of your crops. Let's have a look. Well, it still says 60%, but... Um, Maybe that's if you're in normal temperatures anyway. Let's have a look at the happiness of our population. We have 22 people. And we have 22 total housing. I don't think so far we've lost anybody. So that's quite good. They're not too happy with their food quality. That will change as soon as the kitchen is built. So that gives them a little bit less uh, productivity. We want them at 100% ideally, but... Yeah, no. We can cope. We can cope with that. Don't know whether to pop up the speed a little bit. And whether... I definitely have got some stuff tagged for them to harvest. They are doing it, slowly. And they are slowly making stone, and they are slowly making planks, so it really is just a case of waiting for them. So probably faster speed would be worthwhile there. In the meantime, let's see what's about for the... Uh, oh, yeah, we could try and get some more peeps in. Once the scavenger hut is built. But nomads coming in. If we stayed still, we might be able to catch them. But I don't know whether Ombu will trust my commands yet. It's much easier, this game, once Ombu trusts you. <laughs> Does not trust me yet. Come on, everyone. Let's get these things built. Village doctor, priority. Scavenger hut, not quite a priority. Kitchen, low priority. Because as much as the kitchen will make them more productive, I'll be able to directly get more villagers and things like that with the scavenger hut. And the doctor is going to be important if there's an emergency. So the doctor is being built now. Yeah, there we go. Ombu is having a nap, seemingly just as these villagers are coming up upon us, so maybe they will catch up to us, we'll have to see. 
If not, there will be plenty of opportunities to pick up villagers along the way. Don't you worry. The main thing is, though, I have to be really careful that, like, the food now is going down for some reason. So I have to be really careful if the food is only just kind of balanced and we've not got a big surplus that uh, introducing more people is going to be helpful. Ah, they did come. Okay. Sure. Two healthy people. That's good. Not too many then. That's perfect. Um, but there's nothing that they can do in the way of food production. However, when the kitchen is done... Ah, the scavenger hut is done, so they can go straight in there. Perfect. Go and scavenge me some stuff. What am I the lowest on? I don't have much wood at all. So let's see if they can get some wood from that forest over there. Oh, maybe not like when a tornado is heading towards it. Let's wait for the tornado to go by. It's probably the smartest move, right? Hopefully it'll cross our path before Ombu gets there. I think it's going to, so that's fine. Because it'll break all our buildings. And that's not what we want. We want to try and keep an eye on the map and make sure we're not go going towards any dangers. So they're off there scavenging. Hopefully they'll bring us back something nice. We are researching corn at the moment. So we're researching a couple of things at the moment that we don't need immediately. But if we did suddenly hit a hot biome, it would be super uh, needed. Lovely, so they got us uh, 15 wood. So now we've got 75 wood sat there. Can send them out and get some stone for us. So they sometimes, if you get things that are really close to Ombu, sometimes they work faster <laughs> than the people in the village actually work. And also it means that the people in the village don't have to do as much harvesting. And it's quite nice. We're also going to try and get them to go out here. Oh, there's a decision. Petrified footprints of an ombu several meters deep mark the surroundings of a quarry. Uh... Go on, follow. A huge pile of dung. Okay, kind of useful. I would have actually preferred stone, though. Never mind. That, that's a mine. I want. I want that shrine. That's what I want. I want a shrine, because I want knowledge points. Ideally, if we can. Oh, that tornado is going back. Oh no! What a menace. Boo is still asleep, though. Alright, so the only thing they have to work on at the moment is the kitchen. So the kitchen is getting done. Perfect. Very good. Scavenging for points is going well. How are we doing for food? But it's very sort of balanced on the cusp isn't it so I don't know whether we should take more people at the moment or just try and get things built so I'll send them out to get more rock so they came back with one knowledge from the uh, from their expedition there Hombu you might need to stop Oh, actually, no. I think you are going to just miss that hurricane. Perfect. That tornado. Ugh. So scary when there's a massive tornado coming past. Oh, I don't like it. <clears throat> See how they're doing on the kitchen. Are they nearly finished? They're, they actually are nearly finished. A couple more stone slabs and we're done. We're also nearly finished on the research tree as well. Um, so I think that maybe, because we picked up all of that dung, getting the dung collector and the compost heap would be a good next move. A 
and then maybe go for the ombu kitchen and petting ombu. I think those would be the ways to go. I think that would work well. I might then start to get things like food stands just so that people don't have to like run all the way back to places to get their food. And once we've got dung and everything in, I might then consider making a decontaminator. We're doing okay so far. Famous last words. So how are we doing there? Still 76% efficiency on the uh, berry farm. I, as I say, I am super hopeful that over time that will uh, increase. Now I think we're at a point now where I might add a couple of plots in here for them. Because they seem to be keeping up with this plot quite well, so I'll give them another plot. See what they do with it. Also, I do wonder whether the pantries are getting full. No, they're actually okay. And how are the waters doing? The waters are not quite full either. Which tells me that maybe actually another one of those air wells might be a good idea. But like I say, what I want to be doing is having a surplus of water, ideally. And that doesn't seem to be happening. So how about one there? And I could probably fit another one right there, actually. Got a lot of space down here, isn't there? To fit them all in behind too. Oh, there was a decision to be made, and I missed it. Oh dear! Oops. The shrine over there. I would like my scavengers to go and uh, and get that. I may have missed a chance to get people into my village, but at the moment quite happy with how they're doing I, I think yeah there seems to be people in every single building at the moment um, and they seem to be doing okay nobody's idle but nobody's uh, there's no buildings that are like desperate for a, a person to be in them the doctor is now done um, I am going to close the doctor down so that I can release those workers to do something else because that was what I said would happen once the doctors is done. And maybe I'm going to slow it down a touch. We'll go just on two times for a bit. While I decide what we need to do next. Are there any buildings that we don't have yet? Maybe another farm would be good. A worker post, a research building... Got a tent. Nah, do with better housing for them, to be honest. Uh, hopefully the water is now going to start filling up. It is, so I'm going to put extra water tanks up here. Maybe just a couple of them. So that we can make sure that we've got a good five, 600 water just all stacked up for when we need it. I think that would be good. And we're doing the dung collector and compost heap. So we'll get like fertilizer going, basically. Um, the dung collector may need to go right at Ombu's tail, which might require. Maybe we should start building roads going down towards Ombu's tail just a little bit. Maybe just going down here and across there. So somebody can sort of work on that. Just go to there for now, and uh, and then we can just see see where the buildings go and stuff, and what we need to do. Okay, so we've got another knowledge point come back as well, which is nice. So that means that we can do things like we can research the tomatoes. So I'll add them to the queue, I think. And once we've researched corn and tomatoes, then I'm happy to sort of 
go on to research wheat and things like that, but that'll be in a bit. I mean, I think probably before then I'd be doing food stands and huts and warehouses and things like that as well, so there's quite a lot still to do. Still to grab. Doing well with building their water towers. Nice. Those three are full, so that one will start filling up now. Never store too much water in this game. Be interested in knowing actually how they would fit here. Would I be able to fit two in? No, they would have to be just all along like that. I don't know whether a second kitchen would be a good idea or whether they're just happy with their food quality. They are kind of happy with the food quality, but they are a little bit unhappy with their housing quality at the moment because they don't have enough houses, apparently. So how about we add them one more? 99% productivity isn't bad. Right, so let's uh, see what the scavengers can do. There's uh, a load of mines, but there's also some more people over there. So let's um, go and see about those. And I think it's probably time for me to have a look and see if I want to put a farm over here. Or over here or something. Let's have a look. I think more than one farm is needed at this point. Now we need to do all the stuff for Ombu's food. I haven't even started looking at Ombu's food yet. Good grief. Okay, so a farm. We could put one just over here. Um, because I think by the time... Yeah, let's do it. Because I think by the time um, I need the farm completely filled with plots we will already have gotten rid of that stump so let's just go with a farm there i think and we can uh, fill that with more workers get more beets uh, growing there it'll be lovely 15 wood 15 stone so that's not even that difficult so that will then allow us to uh bring more people in once I have uh, maybe five or six more people working that farm, I'll put another kitchen in and then we can do like, I think this one is making berry muesli. Uh, so three berries makes five berry muesli. So we're making three food into five food using that, which is probably why the food is going up like that. So actually, possibly, maybe the best thing to do as well is to put another kitchen in where I can turn the beets into something else. So maybe we'll do that as well. We'll queue that up. But other than that, they're working fairly nicely. They're doing a good job. Waiting decision. Oh no. Yes, I would love to have you come and... and uh... They're hungry, but we've got loads of food, so that's amazing. Go over there too. Now then, there's a decision coming up on uh, on where to go. But I want Ombu to carry on in the cold because I don't want to have to change all of my farming decisions. However, Ombu may not listen to me, so we may need to do it anyway. No, so we'll see where Ombu goes. <laughs> Ombu might be about to go to the desert. But Ombu might carry on. And pick up these people, and we can pick up the people in those two villages. La la la. The reason I went for this one is if Ombu turns, that one will be easy to get. Kitchen number two is constructed. Lovely. Ombu seems unsure of which path to take at the upcoming crossroads. Why doesn't that surprise me? They still haven't built their little hut yet. One more wood, and that'll be done. They built the second kitchen though, straight off. Let's go for beet soup over there, otherwise they'll have no berries left. So that should be a big boost to their food, hopefully. And hopefully they'll build the farm and then we'll have loads more beets coming in. And then I would ideally like a third farm. 
And there's a reason for that. Uh, let's see where Ombu's going. Oh, it still hasn't gotten to the crossroads yet. I'm a bit nervous about where Ombu's going at this crossroads. I'm doing well for food and water, though. I do wish they would uh, do the water as well. We're, we're quite low on stone planks, I think. Stone blocks. We're actually quite low on wood as well and on stone generally so just like the resources in general are quite low so i may get my scavengers to really focus down on resources after they pick up these next villagers so we can get things built a bit faster i believe we're 21 minutes in already good grief this game goes so th it flies by Taking ages to scavenge because we weren't close. Yay, Ombu went in the direction I wanted. Yes, although this desert might wrap around here, so it might only be a small stay of execution for us. Oh, Ombu's going to sleep too. Lovely. Ombu does have a little bit of poison going on though, so I think if we haven't already built the Ombu Doctor... I think an Ombu Doctor might be the way to go. Alright, let's uh, maybe... Can I not pop it down there? Okay, can I pop it down there? Yes. Okay, that's the Ombu Doctor then. And uh, we don't have an Ombu Kitchen yet, but that's coming up very soon, I think. Uh, we're doing the compost heap at the moment, and the dung gatherer. Okay. Uh, the road is coming along nicely, actually. That's pretty cool. So let's have a look at this dung gatherer thing then, uh, if I can find it. Maybe under here. There we are, under resource gathering. Actually, it can, it can even go here. Okay. Seems fine. But it looks like it had to, has to go quite close to Ombu's like tail, basically. If you're wanting to collect dung, it has to be quite. So it's, it's probably all around there. Um, and putting it on dirt means I'm not using up my precious, precious grass, as you know. So that would be a place for a, a food store to go, wouldn't it? Work on a little road down there as well. Yeah, let's see how the scavengers are doing. Oh, they brought back bread. Oh, that's irritating. I'll go over there then. There are some people on the road that might be able to join us as well. They're doing fantastic, fantastically well for food at the moment, which is great. So wood plank and stone slab being put in over at the dung collector. Once the dung collector is done, I want the compost heap. Are we working on compost heap at the moment? Yes, okay, so that's 95% uh, researched. But I'm happy just to let them, I'm gonna make it go a bit faster. And just to let them do their thing, really. Maybe the kitchens could do with some extra people in them because they aren't um, keeping up very well. Oh no, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted an extra person. Extra person in each kitchen. Let's see if we can get these uh, beet soups and berry muesli's being made a bit faster because they are much more efficient. Oh no, they brought back bread again. But then again, that's good because like, keeping us fed like, can't you, <laughs> scavengers? All right, let's go and check out some stone over here then. And they'll come back with like people all that time. <laughs> you watch. <laughs> oh gosh, many of the villagers are poisoned. All right. 
Time to open up the doctors. I'm going to reduce the people on the farm by two just so that those people to go straight up to the doctors. Okay, good. Now I will try and increase them again. Just forcing the doctors to go in. So people who are poisoned, you may now get treated. You are now witch doctors. Go and help the poisoned people. Oh look, they do house calls. <laughs> There's one badly poisoned person. I want them to get sorted out. I'll be a bit happier once they're d they're sorted out. Okay, they've gone. So there's six poisoned people. And also, we need another hut. Oh, they brought back some stone. That's good. Uh, fresh food for Ombu. I need Ombu's kitchen. There's really not a lot of food around for poor Ombu at the moment. That's going to help Ombu to trust us as well. But we do need more people for that. And we need more resources. For the more people. Still not seeing any sign of going into a hotter biome. So that's uh, good for now, anyway. Oh, they're getting on with the farm. It is... It is going. And they're kind of getting on with the dung collector. Right, I am also going to... I think the compost heap is now done. Ombu's kitchen is done as well. Oh, I need a mycologist, don't I? I need to grow mushrooms so that uh, Ombu can... Oh, no. It's like nowhere to put it. I always build on the mud. Actually, for now, I'm going to put it there. And we'll just put a little... We'll just grow a little tiny patch of mushrooms down there. That should... With one person. That should probably be enough. And if I find that I need something bigger, then we might need to try and get quarries in to move those stones. I'm trying really hard not to move Ombu's spines. Ooh, pick up the nomads. Pick them all up. Three more people, yes. So good. Right, I don't know whether the orders now have run out for them deforesting everything. So let's let's see. No, they still actually do have some orders to deforest a few things. Uh, to pick up rocks and things like that. So let's go. Want these rocks. And all the rocks from down here. Harvested, please. Once we've done that, we're going to have to rely on the scavenged rocks. But that that's all right. You can, you can survive on that. I just don't want every tree taken. Because then we can't come back from it very easily. Even if we do have like a forester or, or whatever. Oh, yes! Ombu mushrooms! Perfect! That takes a little bit of pressure off having to do the Ombu kitchen. Ombu doctor there, and Ombu kitchen. Oh, is Ombu kitchen being researched? Pet Ombu is being researched, though. Followed by a tomato plantation. Research on boot kitchen. Oh, and a feeding trebuchet. We're going to need that. Okay, we'll do that after. Alright then.
I was like, I need them to be on four times speed to, to have everything done, but I do worry. Oh man, can't even see what's beyond this. There's a temperate biome there. That would be really useful. Oh no, there's a cat here. What do you want? Okay, I'm back. My cat likes to keep me uh, keep me fit by making me run up and down the stairs. Makes me sound so out of breath when I come back as well. Oh, because I try to hurry. Hurry, hurry. I shouldn't. But I do. Let's see if I can make Ombu run through the cold spot. Yay, Ombu accepts my command. Wonderful. Okay, you can walk again now. It would be lovely as well if you went north this time. Oh man. Clearly need to feed you more. So you'll go where I say. <laughs> Which means we need this mycologist built. I've got a lot, a lot of things queued up for building, unfortunately. Massive roads. A dung collector. I think the mycologist probably needs to be a bit of a priority. Food's doing okay, so the farm isn't a priority right now. The kitchens are doing a, a massively great job at multiplying the food up. And the scavengers did a really good job of going and getting things. So I'm also going to send them out to the shrine over here. We have 28 people though, and only 26 housing. So we need another hut. Another tent. But actually, if we start getting into um, a nice temperate biome, then actually our crops will start to grow a bit faster, which might be quite nice. I'm a bit too far away from that village now, but I'm going to keep an eye out for villages because we're doing well for food. I feel like that means we can comfortably pick more people up. And the kitchens actually are really helping. I'd say they kind of they're not quite doubling, maybe a, a plus forty percent or so to to the food. So of every three I harvest, I get five back out just for having one person or a couple of people sat in that uh, sat in there. So considering I have to have five farmers and there's only two people in the kitchen, it's actually quite good. And people hopefully will be going for the berry mueslis and the beet soups rather than going for the direct raw ingredients. And I think once the um, dung collector and the uh, compost heap are done, I'm going to probably, because at the moment everything is like quite centralised, but I'll probably get a food stand. I'll maybe put one up here right at the top so they're not having to come from there all the way down into the centre of town. And then I'll also put one out here she says with a massive queue. <laughs> how big is the queue, the research queue right now? How, how, how many things have I got on it? The tomatoes are being done next. Uh, what are we, what are we researching at the moment? I don't even know. What are we researching? Tomatoes, oh we are doing tomatoes, okay. And that's the only thing we're researching right now. Oh, cool. Right, so how about we do uh, food stand next, followed by hut. I think that would be good. So that means I can queue up as well. Uh, on top of all the other things I've queued. No, actually, I'm going to... Oh, my mycologist is done. Yes. Let's give him a little, a little field to work on. Beautiful. Good stuff. Right, so my scavengers are back and there's a little shrine over there. So let's get them to go and do that. And then we'll get them to uh, go out to there. Out to that little, little house. Little village. And we'll see if they can bring anybody else back with them. 
because obviously now I've got two more people to work on than my colleges. I'm going to need two people to work on, or one person at least to work on the dung collector. And I'm going to need someone to work on the... Not that I can find it for some reason, on the compost heap. Where is the compost heap? I know I've researched it. Or did I not for some reason? Yeah, I've researched it. Why can't I find it? Say. So, not under storage, it's not under food. Dung collector. Compost heap. I think maybe putting it next to the dung collector would be good. Maybe, possibly, with a material storage also next door. And then once we have a food hut, we'll put a food hut there too. There's a little kind of outpost out there. And then probably some farms and stuff will go in here. And then it'll all sort of connect up. But for now, it's like a little outpost. Talking about farms, this one is nearly done. We've got one stone needed. So how about we... Queue up some stones. To be harvested. Ombu's getting a little hungry now, but uh, now the mycologist is done, actually, um, queuing up Ombu's kitchen might be cool. Now, do I put Ombu's kitchen... Do I try and put it somewhere close to the mycologist? That would make sense, wouldn't it? We'll see. Let's have a look. How big Ombu's kitchen is. Oh, are we still... Or is Ombu's kitchen under food? That's ombu food and ombu interaction. Okay, ombu food. So I think putting ombu's kitchen next to the researcher there, so it's close to pantries, and it's also close to uh, the mycologist. I think that might be a good idea. So we'll have to wait a little for that to be done. And we're also then going to need a trebuchet. Did I do that? Because we need to we need to deliver. No, so, uh, no, I don't want to cancel research. I want to queue it. Oh, no, okay, we're in the middle of researching it. Okay, yay! And then there's other ways of feeding Ombu, but this is the, this is the, the starter one. This is fine. I would like to get some more trust with Ombu soon. So once Ombu finishes the nap that they are doing, then I will, uh, I'll, I'll do that. Come on, I'm prioritising that farm. I'm sick of seeing it not done. <laughs> it's driving me mad. They can work on these things later, that's fine. Compost will help everything grow a bit faster. And it means that I can put a decontaminator in. We've been really, really lucky with poison so far. Ooh. Ombu Doctor. Oh, still not done. Ah. Uh. We really need that done because Ombu is quite poisoned at the moment. So we definitely need these things to look after Ombu to be uh, done very, very soon. It doesn't always work when you don't have materials. And all of the things that would help us with materials are miles away. 19 hours, a day and 8 hours, a day and 11 hours, 20 hours. Fifteen hours. Let's go and see if we can get some people. We'll either get people or food from that. So either way, it's good. The food is doing really well. Having all of these pantries is absolutely great. And that's the other thing about having the kitchens is that the pantries will hold the ingredients, but they will also hold the uh, processed food. So it is super good. Yeah, why can't they put one more stone in that farm? Ah, it's driving me mad. 
I think I've maybe overextended. I mean, I'm, I'm asking them to do five buildings, no, six buildings, sorry, including their little hut down there. It's not that much, right? But, but considering we've got so much food as well, I think we definitely need new peeps. Two hungry people. Well, they'll soon find food in my village. And they'll soon find things to do. Maybe I need another worker hut. Do I even have a worker hut? I'm sure I do somewhere. This is where I don't even have a worker hut. I do. I have a few more people working in the worker hut. So they're going to do... I've got them set to general at the moment. But what I could do soon is... Um, set, have like maybe two or three worker huts. As the population grows. In fact, talking about the population growing, they're going to need another hut. And uh, they're starting to get annoyed by their housing quality, so they need they need the proper huts now. Don't worry, Ombu, we are growing you mushrooms right now. We've got a whole load ready for when the Ombu kitchen is finished. Hopefully you don't starve to death. 73% hunger. I'm not happy with that at all. There are some mushrooms down there, but whether Ombu will make it to those mushrooms, I don't know. It's slightly worrying. Cold weather, cold weather. There's a double cold weather. Lovely. <laughs> Hurrah. But ever since I built those kitchens, the food's been off the charts. It's been great. And we've got really good um, storage of them. And hopefully with all these new people. Hmm. But they're really uh, extra happy with the food quality and food variety. We actually have over 100% productivity at the moment, which is amazing. So once they build the houses, and they'll be even happier. The farm is done. Yes. Go and plant some beets. One more person in the beet soup kitchen, though. Though we're a bit short on people again. So, um, basically, if I can... Oh, they're, they're all getting rocks, aren't they? But next we'll get people. Because we're short. We're really, really, really short on people. So let's go there. Oh, nice. Ombu went towards the food. Ombu's not gonna starve. Yeah. I was lucky with that, though. Like, we def desperately need... Ah, oh, the water tank's finally been done. Okay, so they're starting to get on with stuff. Go on, Ombu. Ah, oh, yes, you're having a nom. Perfect. I am trying so hard to get your stuff ready for you. Ombu eats. Ombu walks. So what I really need uh, at this point is to get like um, some kind of forester in. So we have a for I think under resources. So I want to get things in like a sawmill, and then maybe followed by a quarry. So that would be two points. Then I can get another point. I'd like to get a tree nursery so we can start like gathering saplings. And then the forester can start replanting the trees. Um, then I just spend time, basically. That 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 basically means that the wood will then be like more sustainable. Uh, then I could probably try and quarry out some of those big stones, which will really help with building. Then I have to decide whether I want to try and drill into Ombu's back for a deep quarry, or whether I want to just try and scavenge stone after that. But there's a few things that are coming up that will kind of slightly annoy or hurt Ombu. 
but the idea probably is that I balance that out with like lots of pets and things like that. In fact, I could try and do that, couldn't I? Let's see if we can pet uh, Ombu. I think. Uh, okay, so I think it might be under some of these other interactions and we need to build the doctor and the uh, feeding trebuchet. Oh yes, of course. I haven't even started on that, have I? I'll need to go there, I think. But I think at this point, I'm going to need to uh, take a little take a little break from this. I think we're at the sort of 50 minute mark. I think we've done really well. We've got a good population. We haven't lost anybody. They're coming back with loads of food. Um, so at the moment, I'm really happy with how it's going. We've got so much stored water, which is really, really good. Uh, I might work on maybe even expanding that a little more. We've got a little space down here that might be good for that. Maybe more pantries possibly would be good too. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do there. Ombu found more food. Wonderful. Oh, that's so good. There's a couple of villages over there that I might scavenge as well next episode, but we will do that next time. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.